historical park in my hometown of Patterson, New Jersey to include historic Hinchcliffe Stadium. It overlooks the Great Falls of Patterson, directly adjacent to the current boundaries of the Great Falls National Historic Park. It was built by the people of Patterson as a public works project in 1931 and in 1932, and named for Patterson's mayor at the time, John Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe uh, holds the distinction of being one of the best and the last surviving stadiums in our nation to have hosted Negro League Baseball. During the 30s and 40s, the uh, New York Black Yankees and the New York Cubans called Hinchcliffe home. Uh, these games featured future baseball Hall of Famers such as Patterson's own Larry Doby, the first player to break the uh, color barrier in the American League. Hinchcliffe also hosted events, and this is what's uh, many things that are fascinating about the stadium. Every, st every sport except hockey, hockey was played there. You name it, and it was played at Hinchcliffe Stadium. Uh, it was utilized by the Patterson Public Schools for high school sports as well. The Patterson Great Falls National Stark Park Act, which passed the House in 2007 and became the law as part of an omnibus public lands bill in 2009, established the park. As it was originally introduced, this bill included Hinchcliffe Stadium within the park boundaries. This language was replaced during the legislative process with a provision calling for a study of the stadium's historic significance. The study concluded last year, resulting in a much-deserved national historic landmark designation for Hinchcliffe Stadium. I believe that Hinchcliffe Stadium's legacy is inextricably intertwined with the mission of the Patterson Great Falls National Historical Park, which tells the story of Alexander Hamilton's drive to create our nation's first planned industrial city. And there's always a little competition going between Patterson and Lowell, Massachusetts, as to which was our first industrial city. But we produced 25 products. They only produced two. So anyway, it's a standoff. The, the, the modern uh, labor movement began in Patterson's silk mills, when workers fought for eight hours for work, eight hours for rest, eight hours for what we will. Hinchcliffe tells the story of what we will. The human side of the workers who came to Patterson to work in mills to waves of immigration and great migration. Hinchcliffe is the embodiment of Hamilton's vision for an industrial economy powered by free labor and immigration, not slavery. As I've discussed in my meetings with National Park Service Director John Jarvis regarding this legislation, Hinchcliffe Stadium and its unique place and its unique place in history present a sterling opportunity for the Park Service to meet its stated goal of reaching out to urban communities. The legislation would vastly enhance the significance of the Great Falls National Historical Park and draw in new audiences for our national parks. It is true that the stadium currently sits in a state of disrepair. I'm being charitable. It has been out of use since 1997, when Patterson Public Schools, the property owner, could no longer keep up with the maintenance costs. The stadium has been listed as one of the country's most endangered historic places by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. This legislation would not place the burden of restoration or maintenance on the National Park Service, which, as we know, already faces a significant backlog of such work. Instead, this legislation is intended to draw private donations, as well as the state and local investments to make the necessary improvements at Hinchcliffe. The stewardship of the National Park Service will provide certainty about Hinchcliffe's future, facilitating fundraising efforts. Uh, it's a great place. The, the historic district is a place right three minutes from City Hall, the second highest falls east of the Mississippi River. Uh, you would never think to find that in an urban setting, and you would never expect to find Hitchcliffe Stadium there either. So I'm asking the committee to pass this legislation, and I'm certainly open for any questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ms. Pasquale. Are there any Questions from the committee? Yes, sir. Mr. Holt. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to put in a word that uh, this is something that all of New Jersey cares about, even though it, 
Even though the teams that played there had the name New York, uh, this is... <laughs> We're used to that, aren't we? 